All right, the next step in this pipeline is to mount the textures that created in here. Okay, very easy. Here's clouds. Choose image or movie. Go open. And then I'm going to go into the unit 4 folder. Okay, so you can see that I have Metal Maker period TGA, but I don't have any of the actual textures in here. Um, I think this one TGA has just one texture in it. So yeah, that's what it was. So for right now, I just have one texture. And keep in mind, this could go on forever, and I can make more and more textures until I get to the atypical stage of most people that are texture artists, and they have 14 bazillion textures, and they use two. So here's that. Now, over here, it's true. Yeah, we are hoarders of textures. We go on vacation. We take shots. We are worse than any tourists in the world. Well, what happens here is let's go to mix, let's go to white, and I can start painting this. And you can see the bigger the brush goes, I can paint this metal texture very quickly at a very high resolution right on this magical device and fill it very procedurally. I don't think that's a word, but we're going to go with it. Isn't that neat? And I don't know how many times that you textured, but I know one thing that we always battle is scale. And another thing is we always battle the idea that it has to go in certain areas. Now, which one is this? Now we can see that we're having some kind of issue here. Look at this. Look how detailed. And as we go up, I can paint here and look at how detailed that is. And when we paint up here, look how undetailed that is. Can you guess which one this is? Well, you'll be nice to know that this one is called the stretched UVs. And this is what happens when you stretch UVs out. In other words, in this area, these big squares hold a lot more detail, and these little tiny squares hardly hold any detail whatsoever. So that is the badness, or the character flaw, in stretch UVs. Now, can you spot it? I mean, like, really, if this thing was sitting over here in a game, uh, could you really see that? Eh, you know, maybe if you had no life and you wanted to go in there and point some flaws, sure. This one? Let's go into it and start painting it. Okay, again, I'm going to go into texture paint. Do I need to change anything? No, it's still got the same brush. And we're just going to paint this just like the other one. And now there are other painting techniques that I'm going to show you, but for right now, this is just to uh, demonstrate stretched UVs versus relaxed UVs. That way, when I explain that this area looks stretched, you know what I'm talking about. All right, now, you can also see what the problem is here. Seams. So if I put a seam in that area right here, look what happens. I have to really work hard at getting that seam to blend, and I have to kind of make my brush a little bit smaller and paint right on the seam. If I paint directly right on top of the seam, I can get it sometimes. But again, I have to take a lot of time just to get that seam to be blended in. Again, if I'm back here, am I going to be able to see it? Probably not. And it does look like a weld line. 
where they weld two instances together. In some cases it works. But that's why I always put my seams on the edge. Because right here, who cares, right? You can't see that. Because it's got the extraordinary vertice right there. And it's an edge anyway. So if it's an already edge, and I'm putting it, a seam on it, it blends every time. Same with here. You know, there's an edge here, but really I don't notice it that well. So as we go on, I will kind of show you better places to put edges and why you put them there and seams go here and etc. and so forth. But for right now, this is really cool, right? And for I guarantee the first thing you're going to do is go out and make a million textures, and you should because it's going to be part of your assignment. And, <laughs> and then after you get done, we can kind of experiment with painting this another way. So in the next video, I want to kind of sh share with you uh, some ways to grunge this up and make it look a little bit more used and shadowed and a little bit less uniformed like it is now. Okay, so let's move on to the next video.